What's up, people? I was watching uh, the TV show Ancient Aliens. Interesting show, to say the least. Do you guys watch it? Cool show, although I think uh, some of these Linux distributions are made by aliens. <laughs> but not this one. Let's take a look at the latest Lubuntu 13.10. Not yet released. This is the beta. Should be released here anytime soon. This is uh, called Saucy Salamander. And this will be for all you beginners out there who need a little bit of help uh, testing something in Linux before you care to install it. Now, one of the best ways to test anything, whether it's Linux or Windows, is to use a virtual box or a VM, a virtual machine. You can get it from the uh, website. Uh, there's no cost. Uh, one of this is one of the best ways, I believe, to test something. Another way is to uh, boot it from a USB stick, or if you have a spare machine, that would be even better because it may run better and a little faster. But for this purpose, for this video right now, I'm going to test it with, um, with VirtualBox, and we're going to run through the install and see how difficult or how easy it is to install this if you are a beginner. I suspect this will be very easy. So we have here the install icon at the top left. At the bottom, you have the start button. So let's go ahead and uh, double click this. And we'll go through the install. And hopefully this should be very easy and very quick. I may make this a two-part video. First will be the install. And then we will look uh, more deeply into one of my favorite lightweight Linux operating systems, Lubuntu. Now, make sure you follow the instructions here. You have at least the minimum amount of drive space available. In this case, it's 4.6 gigabytes, which is pretty low. Make sure you are connected to the internet. Normally, you would click download updates and install this other uh, third-party software here. Normally, you would click these two, but to, to make this run faster, I will not. And we'll just pretend that you, as a beginner, forgot to click this and just clicked continue. Now when you don't click those two options there you will run into potential problems and I will explain that later. Now since I am running this inside a clean virtual machine there is nothing there is no operating system here so I will choose erase disk and install Lubuntu. Now in your situation if you are running this as a dual boot you would have another option here and Lubuntu would recognize your, you know, either Windows Vista or Windows 7, maybe Windows 8. I haven't tested this, you know, running alongside Windows 8. But let's say, for example, you had Windows Vista. It would recognize that you have something else installed, and it would ask you either to erase the whole Windows Vista or whatever else you have, or to install alongside. That would be strictly your decision. If you wanted to keep the Windows side of your hard drive, you would choose the other option, which would be something like uh, clicking uh, to install alongside Windows Vista. All right, click install now. All right, it's automatically detecting my time zone. English keyboard, of course. All right, you would pick your own username, of course. Oh, for this, let me just type in test. Your name, username, password, we'll just keep it uh, simple. And it is telling me it is the password is too short. I will choose login automatically, click continue. I've always enjoyed uh, these welcome install screenshots. Uh, they make the installation process a little bit less boring and if you are completely new to this, this is extremely, extremely helpful. You will uh, see here at the bottom it's saying copying files. Welcome to Lubuntu 13.10. And it says Lubuntu is designed to be lightweight, easy, and fast. And that it is. I'm guessing this will install in approximately hmm, five minutes. Other lightweight options for you to try would be Linux Lite, 
Zorin light. There's um, there's a few others out there. Uh, Manjaro Linux, although that one there, if you are a beginner, make sure you fully read the documentation. All right, it says built on a solid foundation. Ubuntu is based on the LXDE desktop. Now, if you are a beginner and don't have a clue what LXDE means, don't worry about it. It's not that critical here to the install. If you, if you decide to keep this, you will learn more about that later. And it says here that this will work with both old and new computers. It certainly should. I believe the minimum amount of RAM required to run this is only 128 megabytes of RAM. Yep, that's it. So if you have a newer computer, <laughs> this should run blazingly fast. And as you see here at the bottom, it says almost finished copying files. Browse the web. Firefox is installed by default. I also like Chromium, and it actually recommends Chromium, or the Opera web browser. I actually have this installed on one of my old, old machines from about, uh, oh, I'd say from about maybe 10 years ago. And it still runs okay. And that, that machine has, I believe, less than a gig of RAM. And this runs perfectly fine on it. And you'll see here at the bottom, retrieving the files for the install. All right, create and edit documents. Use Abbey Word, Genumeric, lightweight alternatives for LibreOffice. Um, I like Abbey Word. Um, very fast, very lightweight. If you need something more full featured, then certainly consider LibreOffice. All right, it says checking for packages to install and other stuff. So far, about two minutes have passed, about three minutes now. Zipping along. This particular machine I have now is a dual core. All right, enjoy your enjoy your music and videos. Now the thing is, we did not uh, click the other install option for the other pieces of software to play your music and videos so as it stands now if you installed it this way without the updates you probably could not play your music or at least some of your music and videos and I will show you how to fix that looks like audacious genome player and player installed by default default I would recommend installing a VLC and of course they recommend it down here VLC media player great for both Linux and Windows and by the way I am not going to edit this video so if, if it crashes it crashes we will both see it I don't think it will that's how much confidence I have in the Ubuntu team All right, chat with your friends, Pigeon. In case you're wondering what I have here, this is the KDE desktop environment. And I have other environments too that I use. Unity, of course I mentioned Ubuntu, I use Ubuntu. Linux is extremely customizable. Many, many different quality choices. As long as you stick with the runs with the ones that I recommend, of course. All right, download software with ease with Ubuntu. You have access to the whole Ubuntu repository. Yes, this is based on one of the most uh, famous, popular Linux operating systems in, in in the world, which is Ubuntu with the U. All right, this means that thousands of new applications uh, applications are ready for your computer. And guess what? I guessed five minutes and it took exactly five minutes. Imagine that. Now let's see if this will restart without any glitches. And all I all I did was just click restart now. It's that simple. All 
Some of you have asked for a tutorial on VirtualBox. I may do that one of these days. That's probably going to take a little bit longer than, uh, you know, five minutes. But anyway, let's go ahead and finish this up and see what we have. It should boot up just fine, unless there is some kind of a bug. And that's still possible. Keep in mind, again, this is not the finalized version. This is the final beta, I do believe. Uh, you should always install uh, something un unless you have a text machine a test machine rather always install the final version and not the pre final version as it were all right let me go ahead and go to full screen here briefly well there it is installed in less than five minutes or so this is the default desktop here. I think what I'll do, I'll, I will talk more about this in part two of this video, looking at this briefly. Uh, I mentioned that uh, you may have problems playing videos and music as in the way that I install it to show you how to install this. So, but I will talk about that later in part two. So um, don't go away and uh, I'll be right back.